in vapor compression refrigeration system the refrigerants like ammonia r11 r12 etc changes its phase from liquid to vapor and vice versa when the refrigerant changes its phase from liquid to vapor by absorbing the later heat from the cold chamber this process is known as evaporation and this process produces the refrigeration effect inside the cold chamber when the refrigerant changes its phase from vapor to liquid by rejecting the heat and this process is known as condensation the main parts of a vapor compression refrigeration system are the first part is a compressor and second one is a condenser and third one is an expansion valve and fourth one an evaporator let us see the working principle of a vapor compression refrigeration system in vapor compression refrigeration system the low pressure refrigerant vapor is drawn by a compressor at stage 1 this low pressure refrigerant vapor is then compressed isentropically to a high pressure refrigerant vapor at stage 2 this high pressure high temperature refrigerant vapor is then lead to a condenser where it rejects the latent heat and it is then converted into a liquid phase at stage 3 this liquid refrigerant is then passed through an expansion valve up to stage 4 when it passes through the expansion valve, the temperature of the liquid refrigerant reduces considerably. This low temperature liquid refrigerant is then passed through the coils of the evaporator inside the cold chamber where it absorbs the latent heat from the cold chamber and thus produces the refrigerating effect inside the cold chamber. This is the working principle of a vapor compression refrigeration system.